If you're installing a new Cincy thermostat and need a common wire or C wire to complete your installation, the first option we'll walk through is how to look for an extra unused wire to use as a C wire. In many cases, there is already an extra unused wire running from the thermostat location to the furnace. It was never hooked up because the current thermostat did not require it. Let's see if you have this unused wire and walk through how to hook it up. First, you'll want to turn the power to your system off. If you need help with this step, go to the support section of CincyComfort.com and search how do I turn off power to my HVAC? This will show you how to properly power off your system. There are two places to look for an unused wire, in the wall behind your thermostat base plate and in your furnace. Before you get into your furnace, let's take a look in the wall behind your thermostat. Remove your current thermostat from your thermostat base plate. Be sure to take a photo of the current wire connections for reference. Also, keep in mind that the wire colors are not important. Your color scheme may be different from ours. The important part is to pay attention to which terminals each of the wires are connected to. While leaving the wires connected to the base plate, unscrew the base plate from the wall and gently pull the wires and base plate away from the wall slowly. You should be able to pull the wires and wall plate out several inches. As you are pulling the base plate away from the wall, look for a wire bundle. Once you locate the bundle, look to see if there is an unused wire. If you see an unused wire in the wire bundle, you can use this as your C-wire. Pull this wire out from behind the wall. Using a wire stripper, expose a quarter inch of wire at the end. Find the wire labels that came in your Cincy thermostat box and label this wire with your C-wire label. Now let's look at the same unused C-wire in your furnace. All units have a door or panel you can remove to gain access to the furnace control board. Sometimes this door slides off and other times there are small screws you need to remove. Once inside, look for the furnace control board. On this board, you will see terminals with the same wires from your thermostat base plate. These terminals will include labels such as Y, W, R, G, and C. Locate the wires attached to the wire terminals on the furnace control board. Once located, trace them back to the wire bundle. Look for the end of the same unused wire that is not being used at the thermostat. In most cases, this unused wire should be the same color as the unused wire at your thermostat. This unused wire may be wrapped around the wire bundle, wire nutted, or taped off. Unwrap this wire and bring it to the control terminal board. Using a wire stripper, expose a quarter inch of wire at the end and screw it to the C terminal on the control board. On most control boards, you simply loosen the screw, insert the exposed wire to the side of the screw, and tighten. Your control board may be a little different, so take a look at how your other terminal wires are attached and secure this new wire to the C terminal the same way. When attaching this wire to the C terminal, note that there may already be a wire or wires connected to this terminal. For instance, if you have a humidifier, it may be connected to the C terminal. If this is the case, simply add your new wire, but be sure to leave the existing wire or wires connected as well. Once secure, replace your furnace door panel. Be sure to replace it correctly as most furnaces will not operate unless the door is on correctly. Now that you have a functioning C-Wire, you can use the Sensi Mobile app to complete your installation. Once back in the Sensi Mobile app, when selecting what terminals have wires attached, you can now select C to reflect the new C-Wire you just added. Congratulations on getting one step closer to having your Sensi thermostat up and running.